Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to remote into any desktop using Google Remote Desktop. Let's get started. So we are going to start from scratch. The first thing we want to do is download the Google Chrome browser. So you can use Internet Explorer or Firefox. Today I'm going to use Firefox. We are going to type in google.com. Once we are in google.com, we are going to search Chrome browser. You can click on either the first one or the second one. I'm going to click on the second one. The first one's just an ad. And we are going to download Chrome. Next, you will accept the terms and conditions. So you will accept and install. And we are going to save file. On Firefox, you'll see a little download arrow in the top right hand corner and it says Chrome Setup and it's already downloaded. So we are going to double click that and we are going to install. Now we have downloaded the Google Chrome browser. On the top right hand corner, you see a circle and if you hover over it, it will say current user. We are going to click on that. Then you will see not signed in, turn on sync, other people, guest, and add. We are just going to turn on sync. So you can use your email or phone number that is attached to any Google account. So let's do that. Let's sign in. Once we are in, it's going to ask you if you want to turn on sync. I'm going to click yes, I'm in. And if you have a picture, you'll see your picture on the top right hand corner come up. And that means you are signed in. Once you have downloaded the Chrome browser and you are signed in, next you are going to search Chrome Store. So we're going to search Chrome Store. So we are trying to get to the Chrome Web Store. And it should be the first one that comes up. Now we are in the Chrome Web Store. And we are going to search the store. We are going to search Remote Desktop. And the first one that comes up is going to be Chrome Remote Desktop. And we want to add to Chrome. And it's going to ask you if you want to add the extension and we're going to click add extension. Once you have added the extension, it's going to come up on the top right hand corner and it'll have the little Chrome icon. Next, we are going to click on that icon. Once it has loaded, you will see Chrome Remote Desktop. And if you scroll down, you'll see Get Started. Top right hand corner, you'll see Remote Access and Remote Support. We are just going to click on Get Started. Once you get to this page on the bottom right hand corner, you will see something come up. And this is what it says. Would you like to install Chrome Remote Desktop to this device? With an installed app, you'll be able to use more keyboard shortcuts and the browser toolbar will take less space. I recommend you guys to install this and we are going to click install and what it does it will install a chrome remote desktop icon on your desktop so it'll be easier for you to get to all right once we have downloaded the app it's on the desktop we have everything downloaded we are going to set up remote access set up this computer to be remotely accessed from another device to get started click download button so we are going to click the download button and wait till it downloads once it's downloaded it's going to have you accept and install and then it'll say open download and we are going to click yes next is going to have you choose a name and you can choose any name or leave it as it is I'm going to leave it as it is 
Next, it's going to have you choose a pin. So it has to be at least six numbers. All right, once you have put your pin in, you are going to click Start. All right, so now you have Remote Desktop installed on one computer. Now you have to go through the same process with the same email on every computer you want to remote into. And it is very important to scroll all the way to the bottom till you see this device. And you'll see Set Up Remote Access. You want to make sure that that is turned on. It's going to have you choose a name, choose a pin, And you're going to click start. Once the device is fully set up, you'll see online. And if it's taking too long, you can always exit out of it and then try it again until it goes online. I had to exit out of mine. And then when I clicked back on, it said online. So again, it's very important. You do the same setup process that you did on the first computer to every other computer that you want to remote into. And on every computer on the bottom under this device, make sure that it's set up for you to remote into. All right, so now we have our computers set up and we are going to remote into the top one. When you click on it, it's going to ask you for a pin. Don't forget your pin. But if you do, you can always reset it. So this is my other computer I have in the other room. This computer has um, one of my cameras on it that records 24-7. I can also have access to everything. Now keep in mind, if you do turn off any of the computers, say I go on here and click Turn Off, you won't be able to remote into it until you turn it back on. And if you're not there, you won't be able to turn it back on. All right, so next, Remote Desktop has some features. If you go all the way to the right, you'll see a little blue tab. We're going to click on that. And here you'll see some options like full screen, scale to fit, resize to fit, enable clipboard, I'm going to have some input controls, control alt delete, print screen, F11. You can configure some key mappings, displays, show all displays. And something cool that it has is you can upload a file. So if I want to send a document, I can upload it and send it. Or I can download a file. So let's see. We're going to do example file transfer here. And we're going to click open. And now that will download to this computer from that computer. And you'll see vid YouTube video test file transfer. So you can send files from one computer to another computer. But they just can't be too big. If it's a large file, it's not going to let you. So Chrome Remote Desktop can be very useful. You can transfer files. You can check your home computer, your business computer, your surveillance system, whatever you need to do. You just have to go through the setup process and it's free. Another cool feature that Chrome Remote Desktop has is that you can download Remote Desktop on your Android or iPhone and remote into any computer. Chrome Remote Desktop is also fully cross-platform so it will work with Linux, Windows, and Mac users. If you have found this video useful, please hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can support this channel by just clicking the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.